Well, this is going to be one of the last lessons for this introductory series. Maybe we can go deeper as we find more time to keep going with the series. And it's how to add a map to this expression. It's actually really easy and it's just applying the concept that we already see or we already saw. But I again want to uh, give you the actual introduction on how to work on different things. So now I remove the map and sorry, I didn't hit apply. Yep, so I have nothing. I just going to put a value of one there and everything is broken. So I'm going to hit here on the arrow and I'm going to create a map. My map is going to be uh, mask noise stray. I'm going to put the map resolution to 30 as a minimum and the star color to white. I like it. Now let's take this one off and I'm going to paint here some basic values. So black is going to be no effect and white is going to be full effect. I can move here and use different brushes. If you have more brushes, just use the brushes that you have. And for some reason it broke. So I have the values here. And on the area where the hair was shorter, I don't want effect. Sorry. I don't want the straight to be that high. It's just bare minimum of the strays there. So this is my map, again, save texture with the scene has not been safe. So let's save the scene. Uh, introduction to action. Save us. Uh, save texture, right? Paint, save texture, and then save here. Remember to save both. And we have the map. This is our mask. And you can see here how if I change this to a value of one, let's uh, delete that, put just a value of one and apply and refresh. And you can see how it's everywhere. But if I had just the map declaration, it's going to remove the values on the areas that we said, okay, I don't want there. But now I want to add the random percentage expression to that because I know that I need the trace there, but I know I want to have more control. So I need to delete the variable that is declaring the A is equal to map and the A it's the effect, it's the operator. So A it's alone there and we need to kill it because we don't want A. We want to bring back our actual percentage operation. And you can see that now just with that, we have the percentage tray. And here is where you need to make the choice. If you said, okay, it's really easy. I can do A, that it's the map, plus a percentage tray, so percentage tray, right? And then I need to close this part and apply. No, it doesn't work. Why? Because person stray, remember, it's just a value, a numerical value that is declaring how many uh, percent we do want to be applied to. It's not the actual texture. The texture is the RAM. So the RAM is here and it's not the last operator. So we needed to add the semicolon, but also we need this texture to be some multiply divided or whatever you want by the map. That means that we need to declare this operator as a rand stray and equals, right? So now this texture, the rand stray percentage has a name and the name is rand stray. And now we can put a plus random stray and apply and it's working 
the run the stray on top of the operator. You can see there the texture. And if we hit apply, and we have out the update, we can see here how if I go to zero, it's still there. The strays are still in effect. And if I go up, I'm going to have the effect again. And if I go to multiply and hit apply, you can see how now we have just a 9% of the strays there. And there are only being visible and affecting the areas that we paint. So I'm multiplying the map value by the random stray. So the black areas that I paint on the map value are being multiplied and applied to the random stray. So if I have black, even if the value here is white, it's not going to affect because we have a multiplied. It's the same thing that happens in Photoshop. So if in Photoshop, let me bring Photoshop here. This was the last lesson. Is in Photoshop, I have uh, one mask that is the map that we created, right? This is my mask. And we have another value that has a texture. So it's a noise texture. Right? So even if this value has white values around here, if I use this map first and apply a multiply here, on the dark areas, we can see how it's not getting affected by the white at all. We remove completely the white on gray areas, the whites convert into gray. So that's the effect that we put there. If we divide, uh, divide, difference, divide. We're going to make everything white. If we subtract, we're going to remove that area, but we are multiplying here. So all the bar dark values are going to stay dark and the main control is going to be our map. So the actual strays are only going to affect the areas that we painted white. And that's why now with this expression here and we hit apply, we can control how many percentage of the white areas of the mask are going to affect the actual values that we have here. And then if you want to add more frequency, you can add more frequency. If you want to map the values just to affect the tips, you can do everything that you want because the values now are driven by the map that we have here and the person the straight affecting that single map. So that's how you mix more than one and even you can add more than one map. And this is how things start to get really, really powerful because you have all control that you need to create a basic map. Even if it's a mask on a face and you don't want hair here and the hair needs to be thin and then you need to apply the strays just to one part of the noise and this part doesn't need to be affected, you can multiply masks one by each other and the maps. So you have the stray here, you have a thin hair here on the base, you have no hair here and everything is going to be controlled by maps and by actual percentage that are controlling the effects here.